I was in Atlanta over 30 years and uh, I wore three hats in Atlanta. I was a painter, I was an art therapist, and I also taught figurative painting. I did portrait work, which I think every figurative painter gets asked to do, but I also worked in series. I did a series early on of dancers, and uh, then later I did a series called The Deranged Housewife. Because I lived so long in Atlanta and I had a real sense of place there, I was really interested in moving out here to see how all the changes I was making with my life would filter down into my artwork because I really didn't have any idea um, what the most profound thing that, that changed my artwork would be. I opened the studio in, officially opened the studio in May of 2010 and five days later when I was doing a master swimming workout I had a brain aneurysm right in the middle of the pool. But I was a very, very fortunate person because probably 30% of people who have brain aneurysms die immediately from it. It was difficult to grasp how close I had come to not being here. I was really kind of standing on the edge of an abyss, <laughs> uh, looking down and uh, pulled myself back from it. The whole episode of that was very, very scary to me, and it took me weeks before I could get back in the studio. The abstract work started about six months after the brain aneurysm. And I was, at that time, working on another figurative series. I was calling Gawky Beauty. And this series is about girls who are in that, that stage, that transitional stage between girlhood and womanhood. So I was I was very wrapped up in this series, but all of a sudden I just was pulled over to the other side of my studio and started doing these little abstract paintings. And I think because I am an art therapist and I had just gone through all of this trauma, I knew I had to pay attention to them because I knew they were important in some way. And when I started working with the small abstracts. I was struck by how very different they were. The figurative work, I am working with the model, I'm working what I see in front of me, I'm putting a lot of my own ideas into the painting, but I'm also getting so much from the person, I'm getting so much feedback from them. However, when I go to the abstract side of my studio or my brain or whatever you want to call it, it is a completely different universe over there. The creative process is, is totally different. The way I come at these paintings is almost like a little bit of an attack. I, I have a blank paper in front of me, I take some colors, I take a palette knife, and I just sort of attack the, the paper and see what happens. I am not working with a plan. I'm not working with any kind of organized concept of what I want to do. It's more reactive. I have worked so large in the past, you know, up to seven by 12 feet, and these pieces are five inches by five inches or um, nine by 12. But I do like feeling that there is something I can control in them, and that happens to be the size of them. This was something I could never have done before my brain aneurysm. I'm going to continue this work as long as it's coming out of me, and it is just flowing out of me. There's a fierceness in these little paintings and a sense of fearlessness that I experience with them that reminds me of how grateful I am that I can still do this.